first of all you have to carefully bend open this metal cover and remove it and then a little spring pops out you can remove that too and then you need a very sharp like a uh, carpet knife and very carefully insert it <clears throat> into the, one of the openings in the front be careful not to slip in the knife too far because the blade should never actually touch the floppy inside it might leave a magnetic mark or damage the surface and then just slide down the knife on the sides and cut away the seals at the corners one at a time and by the time you have done that on all four sides it should be easy to just open the cover and here it is the floppy of the inside of a floppy Let me demonstrate how to um, change the floppy inside the CloudSill floppy disk echo. You need a soft surface so you don't damage or scratch the machine. And the tools you need is basically a Phillips head screwdriver, not too big. And having a pair of tweezers is also very handy. Put the device on on the front and remove those six housing screws Flip over the machine with the input outputs facing you. Carefully lift up the lid and flip it over. It will sit like this. And then with the Phillips head screwdriver, open up the floppy drive cap and unscrew this floppy securing. And this comes right off. Now, it's a good idea not to touch the floppy. It's, this is a very delicate material and any scratches or grease spots will make unwanted noises. So I'm using tweezers to well that's the old one but still I'm using tweezers to lift this off and here comes the new floppy we had unpackaged earlier this goes right on again the unit is designed so that the floppy could go on both ways so it can be reused on the other side once one side is worn Put back on this little thing. And just very lightly tighten the screw. It doesn't need much torque, just a little bit. And same with the lid. It doesn't have to be super tight, just a light twist. Then put it back down. You have to fiddle a little bit maybe to slide it in and put back the housing screws. And then you're done and the floppy echo is operational again. In the unlikely event that your floppy has a bump that means there's a big magnetic 
information on on the backside of the floppy disk because floppies are obviously double sided and the cloud selecto only writes on one side so if on the back side there's like from old formatting or maybe it, the floppy came in contact with a magnet there might be a bump that you can hear and in order to get rid of that bump we provide you with this little high-tech floppy deformatting device um, and I will show you how to use it. You open the box and open the floppy drive as seen before and then you have to plug in the supplied power supply it's no danger it's only low voltage inside here and turn on make it spin and then carefully with the bottom side that's where this little silver thing is slide go to the center so it just barely touches the surface and slide outward stop the motor unplug the power supply and close the lid. That should have removed all unwanted noises on the magnetic storage, the floppy. And close the lid, close the device back up again.